G'day. So by far the best cooked man or meat even that I've ever had. I should have bought bread rolls or wrapped bread. So I've got onions and other stuff here. It's just so good. This is, I can't believe, oh, I can believe I made it, but wow. I've really perfected the art a bit. So you can see that it's cooked, but it still retains a hint of that redness. Just the perfect for lamb. You see, the juices are still running off it. Oh, this is so good. Look at it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The most succulent lamb I've eaten in my life. I've eaten at a lot of Greek Euros places. Other than this lamb that I just cooked, that was the best. Was the best. I've cooked lamb all my life. I've cooked meat all my life. And I never cooked it as well as the Euros place. But this, this is worthy of putting a crown on. I can't Again, it's got all the perfect herbs. What I didn't do was use olive oil. Usually you would coat it with olive oil and then put it in the oven. But I said, you know what? It's got enough olive oil from the sticking of the herbs and it's got enough juices inside it to cook itself and fats. I'm just going to let it simmer in itself and have that full with the herbs, which really has a coating of olive oil. Oh my God, how right I was. It's just, this is so bad because I don't have bread. Um, I feel guilty. It would have been the best meal of my life by far because I've got onions there. I've got other herbs and stuff. I could have made a really nice roll, especially if I had tzatziki. Oh my God. This is by far the best lamb I've ever had. Just so it's crisp on the outside, just enough crispness. Fuck, it's crispy. You can't even fucking hear it. So you can hear the crisp, but how good that oven is. As well as the perfect timing. Perfectly timed. Unbelievable. So the trick is to leave it in the oven just long enough so the red is evident everywhere, but it goes to that brownie cooked stage. You don't want full red lamb. It doesn't taste nice. But you still want that really juicy and succulent lamb taste whilst it's coated with crackling like skin from the oven. Oh, this is so fucking good. So a tip to everybody, when you're cooking lamb, cook it in the oven, let it cook in its own juices and the herbs and olive oil that's already applied to it to stick the herbs on, whatever else you've used, and just cook it till you get that color. Look at it. Oh, it's, it's taste. I've never had lamb like it in my life. I've never had anything like it in my life. I'm fucking astonished. So these are my chefing skills shining through, finally. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. There's all my fucking food on the floor. Yeah, it's just There's my dish just hanging on the clothes drawer. This is how I roll. It's full survival, urban survival style. But, see, this is why I don't have a housewife or a wife. She couldn't cook lamb like this. Not in a million years. Not even if she was a professional fucking roast. Uh, oven roast woman, there's women who love fucking doing baked potatoes and pumpkin and all that, which can be really delicious, but this is so much fucking better. I don't care if the woman was in there for fucking 30, 40 years doing the same thing. This is just right on the spot, like too early, a second too late, and it would have been overcooked or undercooked. This is, again, I want to put a crown at it. Wow. It's just, wow. The lamb. I want you to be excited for me so you can go and cook your one for yourself and be excited for yourself too. Really nice.